Hi, welcome to Thumb Science. Today's topic is about effect of isentropic efficiency of compressor and turbine on gas turbine engine. In general, we know that none of systems are operating at 100% efficient in actual cases. It is because of due to some irreversibility inside the system. This irreversibility may differ from system to system. Due to irreversibility, temperature may rise in some process, temperature may not decrease in some process. In this lecture, we will discuss what is the effect of compressor and turbine efficiency on gas turbine engine and what is the major role of compressor and turbine efficiency. For that, we have taken two different problems but 90% of same parameters. In problem number one, a simple constant pressure gas turbine plant draws air at 30 degrees Celsius, P1 30 degrees Celsius and compress it through a pressure ratio of 6 that is P2 divided by P1 is equal to 6. Then the air passes through the combustion chamber and after combustion of fuel, gases enters the turbine at a temperature of 787 degrees Celsius that is P3 and expand to initially low pressure. Calculate thermal efficiency of the plant. Take gamma is equal to 1.4 for gases and air. This problem already we have solved in last lecture of this playlist. If you have any doubt how to solve this problem, kindly check it. In problem number 2, they are having same parameter that is 30 degrees Celsius, pressure ratio is 6, T3 is 787 degrees Celsius, gamma is equal to 1.4 but one change. In this problem, take compressor and turbine efficiency is 89 percentage. Whereas in problem number 1, we have taken compressor and turbine efficiency is 100 percentage. In this problem, it is 89 percentage. First, we will discuss what is the effect of compressor efficiency on gas turbine engine. Before that, we have to understand one thing that is, what is meant by isentropic compression and actual compression. In isentropic compression, entropy becomes constant, that is, change in entropy is constant, which means this process is considered as reversible process. We are not considering any irreversibility of the system. For this compression, we have found out T1 given in question, T2 we found out, T3 is given in question, T4 we found out. Similarly, compressor work, turbine work, heat addition, heat rejection, net work done, efficiency, all we have found out in last lecture. Whereas, in actual compression, we are considering the irreversibility of the system. So that, the temperature rise will be there entropy never be constant. This irreversibility due to internal friction between air or friction between air and compressor wall. So that the isentropic efficiency of the compressor is denoted as it is a ratio between isentropic compression to the actual compression. So isentropic efficiency of the compressor is equal to T2 minus T1 that is T2 minus T1 isentropic compression divided by T2 dash minus T1 that is actual compression. This T2 we can find out with help of isentropic relation that is T2 divided by T1 is equal to T2 divided by P1 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma. Now let's start the problem. Assume that the compressor efficiency is 18 in percentage. We know that isentropic efficiency of the compressor is equal to isentropic compression divided by actual compression that is T2 minus T1 divided by T2 dash minus T1. We know that the compressor efficiency is 89 percentage with 0.89 is equal to T2 we can find out with help of isentropic relation that is 505.4 minus T1 given in question 303 divided by T2 dash minus 303. Then T2 dash becomes 530.42 Kelvin. You can see here in actual compression the temperature is 530.42 Kelvin whereas in isentropic compression 505.4 Kelvin. So there is rise in temperature due to irreversibility of the system. When there is rise in temperature in compression, the work given to the compressor also will increase. That is Wc is equal to Cp T2 dash minus T1. Substitute take Cp 1.005. Your Wc becomes 228.55 kilojoule per kg. Whereas in isotropic compression, it is 203.41. So 
when compressor efficiency is low the work given to the compressor will be maximum when work given to the compressor will be maximum the heat given to the compressor will be low for a given work output so q s is equal to cp t3 minus t2 dash that become 532.23 kilojoule per kg so here 557 532 so heat given to the system is reduced whereas net work done 198.07 is wt minus wc or qs minus qr whereas in isentropic compression 223.21 so from this we can conclude that when compressor efficiency is low the net work done will be low which result in decrease in efficiency of the gas turbine power plant that is 37.22 percentage in isentropic compression it is 45.04 percentage when compressor efficiency is low the temperature rise in compression will be high so the work given to the compressor also will be high when work given to compressor will be high the w net will decrease which result in reduce in gas turbine efficiency next we will discuss the effect of turbine efficiency on gas turbine power plant here also we need to understand what is meant by isentropic expansion and what is meant by actual expansion isentropic expansion this process is reversible which means there is no change in entropy that is s3 is equal to s4 but in actual expansion there will be a change in entropy due to irreversibility of the system this irreversibility may be internal friction between the molecules or friction between molecules and the wall due to irreversibility the temperature drop in expansion process not that much as what we have expected so it reduced the temperature drop in the expansion process so the isentropic efficiency of turbine is denoted as this is a ratio between actual expansion to the isentropic expansion actual expansion is the t3 minus t4 dash divided by t3 minus t4 dash that is isentropic efficiency of turbine is equal to t3 minus t4 dash divided by t3 minus t4 that is actual expansion divided by isentropic expansion this t3 will be given in question this t4 can be find out with the help of isentropic relation that is already found out in last class that is uh, 635.5 kelvin now let's start the problem let us assume the turbine efficiency is 89 percentage the isentropic efficiency of turbine is equal to actual expansion divided by isentropic expansion that is 0.89 is equal to 1060 787 plus 273 1060 minus t4 dash we need to find out 1060 minus 635.5 kelvin that we find out with the help of isentropic relation that is t3 divided by t4 is equal to p3 divided by p4 whole power gamma minus 1 divided by gamma then t4 dash becomes 682.2 kelvin you can compare actual expansion temperature and isentropic expansion temperature the actual expansion temperature would be very high which means the temperature high means the reduced temperature will be low it means the del t will be low here we have 682.2 kelvin so you have 635.5 kelvin when the temperature drop is low we know that the work produced by turbine become low that we can find out wt is equal to cp t3 minus t4 dash so wt becomes 379.69 kJ per kg of air whereas in isentropic expansion it is 426.62 kJ per kg so from this we can conclude that when turbine efficiency is low the work produced by turbine will become low when this one is low w net will become low that is 176.28 kJ per kg whereas in isentropic 223.21 when w net becomes low which result in lower efficiency of the gas turbine power plant that is 31.62 percentage so from this we can say that when turbine efficiency is low it affect on turbine work output when turbine output is low it affect on net work output when net work output is low it affect efficiency of the gas turbine power plant in next lecture we will discuss what is the effect of inlet temperature of the compressor If you like this video kindly subscribe share and like thank you